Lauren, have you seen anything different in some areas that might be of concern right now traffic wise? Well, it might be a disappointing answer, but the good news is no, everything is looking pretty good around the metro right now as far as traffic is concerned. So if you do have to get out and about, now's maybe that good time to come before our next round of snow pushes into the area. Right now I have a live look outside at I-25 and 8th Avenue and you can see both northbound and southbound lanes starting to get full with that evening rush hour, but everything's still moving along without any real issue. Also, pleased to report we don't have any active of crashes on the map right now, but I do have some drive times for you that might help you out near that area where we just took a live look outside I 25 southbound lanes moving at around 24 miles per hour. And we have 14 miles per hour in the northbound lanes, so not too bad there. We are starting to see some slowing around the Commerce City area, specifically along I 270, the westbound lanes between I 25 and I 70. We're going to see some slowing there, speed slowing to around 11 miles per hour in that area. Now, as we head a little bit further west along I 70, westbound. You can see this red here where we have slowing speeds down to around seven miles per hour. So of course you want to make sure you continue to take your time. If you're in an area where you're seeing that slowing, just just calm down and go around it. You don't want to do anything uh, too drastic because we're going to continue to see this slowing and just take your time going home. So I 70 westbound 12 miles per hour there. And if we take a look further east near Aurora, I 225 northbound and southbound lanes moving anywhere between 14 to 17 miles per hour. So as I said, no active crashes out there, but some areas could take you a little longer. Just take your time and you should get to where you're going safely. Mm -hmm. All right. Good idea any day, especially yeah. today. Yes. Yeah, Thank today. you, Lauren, for keeping us posted.